friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Violet's right here. Um, I have a coffee. It's, yeah, 8.30. I just ended a different video. I did a little Frenchie haul. Um, and I already fed the birds. I filled up my bucket. You might have seen me filling up my bucket. I went out and fed the birds. I brought, emptied the big garbage cans here. Everybody's still sleeping. I took those guys for a walk and they took care of all their business like such good girls and boys and it's minus eight out so it's a little nipply out there but I'm gonna have my coffee and I have some cards to open I picked up from dad's yesterday and I want to hang them up today is the 23rd I just took my turkey out of the deep freezer it's sitting in the sink I'd like to cook my turkey tomorrow evening or tomorrow day depending on how defrosted it is I need to dig out my uh, sausage that I use for my potato dressing. I'd like to make that tomorrow, maybe. I need to make lasagna tomorrow, because tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I have butterflies like I'm going to throw up. Not that it's a bad feeling, but it's like, oh my gosh. And then I leave to go out west in like 11, 10, 11 days, and then it's like... <laughs> I have to get myself psyched up to leave the house when I go into town, but I've had months to get psyched about. It's not that I don't want to see those guys. I certainly do, but it's just the, I got to make sure everything's all perfect. And when I get back, I'm going to paint my kitchen. That's my reward for, you know, being strong and getting up and out. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that in another video, but it just dawned. It just had to like wash over me. And I got these new appliances. It does not match my kitchen. I don't care about the color of it, but it's like, I want to take all the cupboards off and paint them. I want to take that wallpaper off, although, um, I mean, it's cool. It's like old style. I want to take that off and get different wallpaper um, and different linoleum or whatever, whatever floor stuff is. But I can't even wrap my mind around that. And I need to do that on a budget. When I paint my cupboards, I'm going to use the paint that I have here already. I don't have any old linoleum. And I don't have old wallpaper. But I will get discounted. I don't know. We'll talk about it another time. I said we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But Anyways, I heated up a coffee. Super hot. Yeah heated up coffee. I'm going to open these cards. Um, we're going to go in skating today um, with my sister again today. Maybe go out for lunch or something. My nose is right red. I really just came inside. That's why. Um, uh, this card is from my friend Tracy. Tracy and Tracy um, from Sydney, Nova Scotia. Sydney's way up in Cape Breton. I've been up to Cape Breton, well, a few times in my life, but I haven't been up there for years. It's I mean, I know, oh, jeepers creepers, I scared the bejesus, that's the turkey. <laughs> it, uh, I had it sitting up, just plopped it in the sink, but it slid down. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, Nova Scotia is a very small province compared to other provinces in, um, Canada, but to get to Cape Breton, it's at least a six, seven hour drive, eight hour drive, something like that. I believe. Anyways, Tracy M. from Sydney, Nova Scotia. How awesome. Um, ooh, there's a gingerbread and it's a puffy sticker. Um, I believe up in Cape Breton when we had the storm or like all the wind and stuff, you guys lost a lot of power, I believe, didn't you? I think. Oh, there's a sticker here too. Gingerbread house. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and since tomorrow's Christmas Eve, I gotta get stuff set up before I go to bed to help the elves have stuff set up. I did get um, a gingerbread, well, it's not a house, but it's a little village. I meant to get like crazy glue or something so I can glue the houses together. Those guys can decorate them, but I don't know. I think of it when I go into town. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Little German Shepherd puppies. I think those are German Shepherds. That's beautiful. I love German Shepherd dogs. I love all dogs, but um, yeah. When I grew up, people the the man that lived up, well, beside Dad, Marlene's still there. Um, but Larry is the man that lived there. He had uh, German Shepherds, and 
yeah, beautiful dogs. The card actually see, says, um, repeat the sounding joy, happy holidays. And this actually has a recipe. I'm going to put this, well, I'll hang it up for the season, but I'm going to put this in my recipe book that's all beaded and tattered and stuff. Um, I'll get Mally, or I'll try it. Um, and then she wrote a little note. I think it would be okay. Tracy family bores Violet and your dad. Oh, thank you, Tracy. That's awesome. Um, Merry Christmas. From the other side of Nova Scotia, Mom and I watch your videos nightly here in Cape Breton. We are a huge animal lovers and enjoy watching the dogs. Look forward to seeing them in their coats. Sincerely, Tracy and Betty. Well, hi, Betty. Ladies, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. I really do. And, uh, yeah, who knows? We might cross paths someday. But, you know, you got a friend down at this side of Nova Scotia. I know it's a long ways away. But if you're ever in this neck of the woods, we might cross paths. Or if I'm ever there, we might bump into each other. You just never know. But I love this card. This card. I'll show Violet and Boris. And the kids too, of course. But that's awesome. I don't have a card like that. I love it. Okay, this one came all the way from Ireland. Ireland! From my friend... I don't know, my phone's acting freaking funny again. Oh, my new phone uh, doesn't take a SD card, which drives me insane. Like, it, I just have to use the memory on the phone, and it's not as much as my old phone that had an SD card. So it's shutting off. It says I have three minutes, and then I'll have to press play again. So... Please excuse all the interruptions. But yes, this card came all the way from Ireland, and I'm very excited. That's where some of my people are from. Oh my goodness, it wasn't even sealed. Like, it was just tucked in. Oh, this is beautiful. It's a spark. Well, not quite a spark, but it's one of those little teeny tiny birds. I love it. I love it. It's a nice shiny card, too feels good on your fingertips and the card itself says season's greetings she wrote a nice note in here i don't know if i'll read all that um words can't express how much your vlogs mean to me i love your shopping videos your day in the life your husband has uh have lots of children during my difficulties oh, okay i won't read it all but it's from Laura, Laura, uh, Wicklow, Ireland. Am I saying that right? Uh, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Healthy New Year. Thank you so much, Laura. I love it. I will hang this up. And if I could show all my bird friends outside, I don't think that they'd pay no mind to me waving a card at them, but I would show them if I could. But I will show my kids and I will show my dogs and it's going to decorate my TV room. So thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I will finish reading your little note in here after. I just don't want to divulge anything that, you know, little blurbs I'll read, big blurbs I won't. But uh, thank you so much. I love it. I really do. I'm getting some nice cards today. Some dogs, a bird. And this one is from Kara from uh, Shelburne County, Nova Scotia. Shelburne is just on the other side of Nova Scotia. We're on, like, it's, <laughs> it's hard to explain. I'm here. Shelburne is here. Cape Breton is way the heck up there. <laughs> um, but Shelburne County, happy holidays. Those are mittens. And then the stamp and a little snowflake. Oh. I'm surprised. Ah, oh, my eye's not up. Oh, isn't this cute? All the joy. All, all of you at Christmas. Rudolph. His nose is sparkly. His, like, coat is sparkly. The presents are sparkly. The little spots on these reindeers are sparkly. Cute. Oh, it opens up like this. Oh, okay. The
card says, whatever you do now that Christmas is here, remember to fill it with fun and good cheer. Enjoy all the magic and wonderful sights. Share the excitement and happy delights. Have a Christmas that's merry and special all through. The kind that brings laughter to each one of you. Merry Christmas to all of you. Love, Kara and family. And she wrote a little, little thing. To Tracy and family, I hope you all have a great Christmas and have a great visit with your grandbabies in the new year. Thank you so much, Kara. And you spell it just like Marquise's Kara spells it. Look at it all undoes and all these little reindeers have their name. There's Blitzen. There's Prancer. There's Vixen. And there's Dancer. Am I missing any? And of course, there's Rudolph. Oh, this is such a nice card. Oh, and there's a little blurb on back. Uh, oh, what fun it, it is to send Christmas wish your way. And then there's Cupid, Comet, Donner, and Dasher. What a clever card. Right there. This will go up on my wall too, Kara. And I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. I can't believe it's getting so close. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I'm a little uh, strung out, but this this is a great way to start my day, to open up these beautiful cards. And my dang phone, I need to go try to unload it or something. But um, yeah, thank you everybody for all of these cards. I love them. And I will hang them up on my wall. So, Mary, Mary, and I'll check back in a bit. <laughs> here bud we thought skating was from 11 to 12 it isn't it isn't till like four to five, four to five so punch me you know punch back it's the only day we'll come in tomorrow oh look there's a dog in that car the ladies there too are on show where that's not a punch buggy <laughs> we're going into sobeys i'm gonna get some stuff for some swamp water and then we're going to meet Carrie at Pizza Delight. We're going to go out for lunch. But, yeah, bummer. But we'll come in tomorrow for Christmas Eve, skate with Santa from 11 to 12. Did you uh, plan this before? We talked about it yesterday. We were going to go skating and then go to Pizza Delight. But, yeah, we'll go into Sobeys. All the parking lots seem super busy that we drove by. But we'll just get this taken care of. I got my bags got my sidekicks and we're good all right
Okay, hold your horses. Come on, bud. We're at Pizza Delight. Oh. Well, we got some stuff. They didn't have canned pineapple juice at Sobeys, so we might have to stop to Superstore. Oh, I'll ask my husband because I'm sure he'll be in town today to get a snack orange and some pineapple juice. Oh, you were waiting right here? Yes. They're just opening now. You're the, oh, you're the number one customer. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. Where do you want to sit, you guys? Sit in privacy. Yeah, like on this side. Yeah. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. Yeah. Want to sit in this one? Do you like booths? Yes. I like booths, but okay. that one or this one, that one or this one, I don't care. Well, if you do this one, you can get a picture of the tree. Yeah. Because there's the Grinch. All right, we'll sit there. Right. For goodness sakes. Misha's getting it's creamy garlic parmesan pasta. And I got an Italian sub with garlic fingers. May's got a kitty cat pizza. And Carrie got a donair with some garlic fingers. It's going to be so good. All right, friends, we're home. It's 1239. The fire is going. I got to sweep the floor. Look at that mess. I wonder who made that. Anyways, I got some punch stuff except for uh, pineapple juice. It's out in the porch. But I also got two things of raspberries. They were two for six dollars. This was five ninety nine, I think. Two forty nine. One dollar. One dollar. And this was three forty nine. Hot mulled cider bags for tomorrow. So yeah this is all for tomorrow this is for tomorrow it's all for tomorrow nobody's allowed to touch this stuff but i got it while the getting's good Ooh, okay i'm just putting the presents that are on top of augustus this is to my brother-in-law's house my other brother-in-law's house my mother-in-law's house and my husband's gonna bring that down after hi <laughs> merry merry christmas <laughs> Alright friends, it's 3.29. I haven't checked back in a bit. Um, Mally made some sort of muffins, homemade muffins. I don't know what they are. It's not chocolate chip. It's like cinnamon something. I don't know. I'm going to get the dishwasher going. Violet, don't even think about it. I took these out of the deep freezer a little while ago because I'm making lasagna tomorrow. This is going to be the compost. Still very frozen. I'll put them in the fridge later. And here's my turkey, still extremely frozen. And two of those sausage things. Still frozen. So, yeah. But tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I help the elves set up stuff. And I've had this for a couple of years. And it was in the back of my old van. It's never been opened. It's still sealed. I'm going to set this up. And I'm assuming I have to put it together. I want to do it now, but I don't want the kids to see it. I mean... Yeah, so this is going to be one of the things I set up later on. But I just dug it out. And, yeah. I don't know. I remember playing this at a friend's house when I was a kid. My friend Cindy's house, I think. Anyways, I'm going to set this up. We have a croconole board. I'm going to set that up. I have a couple of other little things to do. And, yeah. But, this is dusty. <laughs> It's dusty. It's never been used, so that's going to be something for tomorrow. Okay, I got my dishwasher going. I do it on express. That's for 40 minutes. An auto wash is 2 hours and 20 minutes. A heavy wash is like 2 hours and 15 minutes, I think. A delicate wash is 2 hours and 5 minutes. I'm like, dishes don't need to wash that friggin' long unless they're like super heavy. I'm doing express wash for 40 minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I just dug these out. I think I'm going to make jello. And I forget who gave these to me. I have it written down. But it's a set. They're just clear glass. I'm going to make some jello and put put them 
in cups and then tomorrow we'll top them with whipped cream and that'll go with our hot chocolate Christmas Eve bar and yeah I got six six of these cups it's enough for everybody so I'm gonna get those out so I can put this box away and dig out some jello all right I rinsed and wiped those off I do have chocolate pudding mixes but Messiah thinks jello would be better I wish I had green jello I don't but I do have red strawberry jello and um, yeah I'm gonna do that up it says four servings so I We'll do two boxes, I think. And my porch is cold enough, I can set it out there, just cover it good. And yeah, I think that should do it. I forget how to make it, it's just hot water, cold water, running water, chills! All right, uh, it's one cup of boiling hot water, stir it into the powder mix, till it completely dissolved, and then put one cup of cold water in, stir it and then pour it into the dish and let it set. There is a quick set method if I use ice cubes, but I don't care about all that. Um, so I have the kettle on the stove now and I'll get a bowl out. So I'll have two cups of boiling hot water and two cups of cold water. And I might need to put any extra in a separate dish, but that's okay. Maybe I'll get out a teacup or two and yeah, we'll have some strawberry jello to go with our hot chocolate bar tomorrow night. All right, I'm gonna use this container to mix it up in so I can easily pour this into those cups over there. Um, the kettle's still not coming up, but I'm gonna open these and dump the powder into this. All right, I got out, I need to rinse these. A um, Couple extra teacups. Oh, just a minute, the phone's ringing. Okay, so yeah, I got out a couple of teacups. This one has a little flower in there. I don't know whether we'll need it, but isn't she beautiful with the gold feathers and the gold shoe on the bottom gold on her hip and on this side not right on her elbow well a little bit there this one is Queen Anne bone China England and then you see the like the 481 with a marker or something and then this one it comes with a set I have another teacup and a teapot to match and stuff it's all gold Royal Will Winton, uh, Grim Wade's England, Golden Age. So, that one, if, if I need more. Because one of those boxes make four servings. Oops, there's six of those clear tea cups here. And two more would make eight. And, yeah, I'm just going to give these a quick rinse. Wait for that kettle to come up. Slowly but surely, I have a two cup measuring cup here, a liquid one too. So I'll fill it up to two and then I'll stir. Right here, I can't find my big whisk, but stir it up and then I'll add two cups of cold water and then I will pour it into here. I'll clear a spot on my deep freezer out in the porch so I can set it out there. Okay, Misha's wearing an Africville t-shirt, how awesome. Um, I just put the two cups of hot water in there. I'm just running the water real cold for a minute. I also just watered my coffee plant. And then we'll put the cold water in and then I'll pour it in those cups. All right. Yeah, I had to use those two, so I'm glad I got them out. Um, so I'm gonna cover these and put them out in my porch because it's very cold out there and check on them later. So I'm sorry, Violet, not for Violets. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, well Misha's gonna do, she's gonna melt some chocolate in a double boiler, some chocolate chips, and she's gonna dip those strawberries I got today. So, you get the chocolate chips in there, Misha, and you gotta keep a close eye on this, cause chocolate burns fast. Um, they're little teeny tiny chocolate chips. Oh, Dark chocolate. I don't know. Probably all of it, there's not that much in there. Oh, I love this. Mm. All right, I just dumped some hot water from the kettle in there, and now I'm going to turn this on. 
and you need to stay here and continue to move it around because it will warm up fast. Yeah. I just got to, there's not very many Christmas ones left, but little Christmas trees. We'll put a few sprinkles on, not a whole bunch. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's the how it do. We just take our time doing it. It takes a few minutes, but you got you can't take your eyes off of it because once you burn chocolate, you can't really salvage it. So, looking good once all the chunks are out. And it's more liquid. Yeah. Instead of it's chunks. So, we can dip it. Alright, Misha. Ooh, that's just like parchment paper. I sprayed a little bit of spray on there so it doesn't stick. But um, that's still hot water in that pot. Ooh, an early strawberry social kind of dessert. <laughs> Here's the strawberries. I'm just going to gently cover it like that and I got the cover for it. Christmas to remember. Dolly and Kenny. Gonna love it. Alright, I'm going to try to do this. It's only like 6.30 but my kids have abandoned me. They all have abandoned me. So if somebody comes downstairs I will banish them from this area and cover this with something. But... I don't want to be up half the night because I'm going to be up half tomorrow night uh, trying to get this and other things. <sighs> All right. Okay. I've had this for like two or three years, honestly. Morning, get going. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mazai's out there on the computer, and of course, she hears me talking. <sighs> Stay your arse out of here. I love you. Okay, just do take out everything so I see all the pieces. which I don't think. This, this comes right out. All right. Okay.
Isn't there a board or something for this to go? Oh, look, it's underneath. It's taped underneath. That's weird. All right. And it's all covered in plastic. Heaven's sakes. I'm glad I'm doing this now because I the kids go upstairs for nine. I usually go to bed by 9 30. And this way, this will probably take me a half hour to friggin' figure out. Oh. There's the board. Okay. Where's the instructions? In here. Man, my sister's supposed to be coming out any time now. I can always wrangle her into helping. All right. That's French. I have to see what it even looks like. I'll probably have to fast paste this because, all right, this looks like number one. Now, how is this board? Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, that, number two, this goes on this. Okay, then the stop sign thing. What am I missing? Not that. Not that. Here it is. Stop sign thing goes here. Okay. Number three. There's an elastic band, apparently. And that goes from this to that. Okay. Got that. Now, something hangs from there. Oh, this does. It's a little boot. Okay. Does it go this way? I don't know which way the boot's supposed to go. I think that's right. Okay, number five. Hmm. 
Okay. Where does that go? Where does that go? Right there. Okay. And then these stairs. I don't see where this hooks in though, there, bud. I don't see. Maybe this is supposed to go here. Yes, and this is supposed to go there. How the heck does that go in that? I think they made the board wrong. Understand. Son of a. It's supposed to go in there and it doesn't friggin' fit. This one fits. Okay. I got it. Okay. Son of a. Okay. That's done. That's done. This little bucket goes up here. Okay. This. Is it this? Two, yes. That's it. Okay, how do you even play this game? I don't even know. Where do you put it? First put it. Let's play. Roll the die to determine who goes first. Play continues to the left. Okay. Spaces. Blue launch trap. What? Oh, that's not how you ask. Oh, 
But yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so athletic. I might have to look up on YouTube how to play this. Like, where do I put the? There's a little metal marble. Where does it start? I don't understand. To launch the trap, pull back the stop sign. All right, well, let's try it. Pull back the stop sign. And let go. Every action will have a crazy reaction. Right, let's see. Ooh. No. That's not supposed to happen. That's not on there very tight. Maybe I have it on wrong. No. Nope. Son of a. No. Well, that's lame. again. Pull the stop sign. Oh. Nope. Ah. Okay. Tell me I broke it right off the bat. No. I do have a setup, right, don't I? I don't have any more pieces, just like the player pieces. It's lame. Oh, I see. The ball isn't supposed to go in there. One of these guys are supposed to go in there. All right, let's try it again. I told you, I've only ever played it once, like when I was a kid at a friend's house. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot to set that. Oh goodness, I gotta get this thing to go down at least once before I feel like I have it right. Let's try it again. <laughs> I did it! Yes, I did it! All right, now I'm not taking this apart. I will put it in my laundry room. And 
I've got a big cookie sheet to put under it so it doesn't wiggle and wobble. I get ya, I get ya. I don't know what the point of the game is, but we can figure that out tomorrow. Excellent, 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 excellent. How long did that take me? 6.56 now, so took a little time. But now it will take more time tomorrow. Now, how easy is this to move? I'm going to go put it in on my, on Edgar. I trust Edgar to hold it still. And then tonight I'll set it out. Oh, all right, guys. 7.03. Oh, my head's cut off. The dish rack is still on the counter. It has a couple of dishes in it. We've gotten into the routine of hand washing some dishes. So the stuff that we can just easily rinse and wash. We'll, we'll do that. But uh, that hamburger I took out this morning might still be a little frozen in the middle. I'm going to scramble it up now. And I can put the meat in the fridge for tomorrow to make lasagna with. And it'll be one step less. Yeah, see, that's still partially frozen, but that's okay. This pack here was 8.32 uh, regular price. I paid 50% of that. It was 8.80 a kg. The one here is medium ground. That's medium ground. This pack was eleven thirty three regular, paid fifty percent off, but it was eleven eleven dollars a kg. So I must have bought these at two separate times. There. Since they are medium ground, I will have to strain them. It'll be some grease. That's okay. Oh yes, this is still still quite. Still quite. Oh, lardy, lardy. This has been sitting out all friggin' day. At least all afternoon. My turkey's still in the sink. I will put it in the fridge tonight when I go to bed. But that's still frozen. Like, frozen, frozen. Oh, there's a styrofoam. Oh gosh. Just a little. What were you missing? Getting something ready for tomorrow. Christmas Eve. Yes. I'll bring you back once this loosens up and stuff. Um, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit. There was a pack. Oh. How do you know I did two packs? Cause I've seen two. Oh. I don't have to wash this, right? No, I'll rinse it out though. Okay. And just so you know, if you get water off of the deep freezer out here, there's jello and stuff. So don't, you gotta be careful. Yeah. I'm so happy I don't have to do dishes anymore. That's too much work. Yeah. What are you making? I'm just scrambling the hamburger for lasagna tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to be doing a lot of cooking for tomorrow, huh? And the next day. Turkey dinner the next day. Christmas. Oh, yeah. And the big breakfast bit. Yeah, we don't make lunch for Christmas Eve. It's more like a breakfast brunch. Yeah. And then a big supper. You better not sleep in on Christmas. You better wake up bright and early. I do every year. One year. Uh -uh. No. So, uh -huh. I'm always up before all of you guys. Okay, well, maybe it was And I scare you. Maybe it was that there. Because, like, I remember you were telling us to wait. Yeah, you, I don't want you coming down before 7. Yeah, well, I remember once you told us to wait for Dad to come down. That may be... Oh, yeah. you guys can usually do your stockings, but... Until Dad comes down. He's kind of a slowpoke. He 
is. He needs to hurry up and huh? get down faster. Okay, Google Play. I just said, know. Oh, when I wake up on Christmas, seven o'clock. If I'm one of the first people up, I'm gonna go wake up the other kids. No, just leave unless it's seven o'clock. You can go wake them up at seven. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. But you don't need to wake them up at like five o'clock or something. No, I'll wake them up at seven. You will all probably be the one that sleeps then. Probably. All right, guys, my sister Carrie just got here, so I'm just going to finish scrambling this up. I'm still frozen bits in there, but I put onion, garlic powder, Larry's, and pepper in here. And I'm just going to get it all fried up, strain it, and I'll show you after. All right, it's 825. My sister just left. Uh, the kids are outside with her. To She has Maya and Riggs, her dogs, with her, so she's just walking them around outside for a pee. And then we'll see her tomorrow at skating and stuff. But here's that hamburger. Um, well, get out of here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that in the fridge. My dishwasher's almost full, so I'll wash that by hand. But, yeah, it's all ready. <laughs> Back up a bit, Misha. These are those pajamas I got at Frenchie's yesterday, and they fit her perfect. Stop looking like Sling Blade. Put your chin in. <laughs> Mally's making snickerdoodles again. Don't record me. I'm not getting you. I was just saying what you're doing. Anyways, I got this the other day, and I thought the kids could do that tomorrow. I'm going to use some contact cement to make sure these mother flippers stick together because I don't, I always struggle. I struggle, I struggle. So contact cement and then, they never eat these anyways. And then tomorrow they can, no. <laughs> then they can decorate them with the candies. So that's the plan. All right, this is what's in it. I'm gonna have to divide, have to divide up all the candy. And this is harder, this is hard. I'm and then it comes that. apart. Oh, for heaven's sakes. That's just asking to be broken it's up wrong. I know. Seriously? Gash. All right, I immediately messed up, but I'm going to try to stick I'm it together. Here. Yeah, Mally's here helping me. We are going to try it with the icing first. If not, I'm using friggin' contact cement. I just want them assembled. What does this one go to? This? So there, there, there's one over there, there's one over there, and then there. Great. This one? Oh. Okay. All right, Mally convinced me not to use the contact cement. She put these together. Um... It did come with five little hats, but one of them I completely ruined. So, yeah. <laughs> she dropped a few little nasty words putting them together, but they're together. Just a couple. And, yeah, they'll hopefully be solid by tomorrow.
guys, I helped all the elves. They're all set up on Freddy. They wanted me to help move the heavy stuff around, so I have it all set up for them. So there's the mouse trap. A couple smack oranges. One's peppermint, one's the orange flavored kind. Those, those cookie things I got today. Here's a book on how to make paper airplanes. And it has paper in there you can use. But here's some plain white paper too. Here is a book that paper and pencil games for two players. There. And then there's the gingerbread houses. I tried to divide the candy up for each of them. There's a Kinder Egg that I got 50% off. They all got a Kinder Egg. They all got their own little present, well, pajamas. And then a uh, little present to go along with it. And so I got a poster, Five Nights of Freddy. Um, Mally got some Lindors and a baking mat that goes on cookie sheets. Boris has a great big, I don't know if it's a beef knuckle, like it's a giant bone um, from Pet Value. And one of those fancy cookies. It looks like a mitten. Uh, Violet got a different bone um, and a little stir or snowflake and yeah all the kids got pajamas May's got a pair of pajamas and a Where's Waldo, Where, Where's Waldo book Misha got pajamas and a Christmas Archie comic and then out here I have a crokinole board which we had a crokinole board but the kids don't play it um, I don't think they know how to play it but I have it set up now. This is, uh, like, grown people play this, and not that kids can't, but they just, I just don't have it out accessible, but I do today. Um, these are little wind-up things. I just put them here. And here's the crokinole um, things. I just put in this Christmas bag so it looks nice. Um, and I just have these folding um, chairs and that's that little table I usually have beside my rocking chair but that's okay and yeah that's Christmas Eve morning setup oh and I also wrapped some more presents I think I might have one or two more presents to wrap tomorrow um, we'll see but yes um, I'm 99.7% done well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Another Day. I'm putting an ending on this. It's after Christmas now, but I'm trying to get some videos edited and all that stuff. It was so fun reliving this day. I know it was a busy day, putting that dang mousetrap game together. <laughs> that was something, wasn't it? But anyways, um, yeah, and getting the Christmas Eve table ready. You know, the kids really enjoyed it the next day. You'll see it in the next video and all that stuff. But thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um during the holidays i'm so sorry my videos aren't up to date i know the past years i'd have a video christmas video out on christmas but it's just i can't swing it this year but um yeah so tomorrow will be christmas eve the next day will be christmas and so on and so on and so on so i'm gonna say peace love and happiness today and every single day please like share and subscribe if you so choose but if not that's okay too i still love you i still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there i certainly do i really really honest and truly do yes i do so now i just got maze out of the tub and i'm gonna sit back down to edit a bit and yeah so with that i'm gonna say have a good night or have a good morning and i will see you tomorrow bye boink